OpenCode is the hottest new terminal AI coding agent, similar to tools like Ada, Codex, and Claude Code. But this supports more than 75 models, has multi-session and MCP support, and is completely open source. So let's see if it's good enough to replace Claude Code. And also, why is there another open code project that does a similar thing? Hey, Richard here from Betterstack. So the first thing you'll notice about open code is its beautiful terminal UI, powered by the Bubble Tea Go library with some great theming options that pale in comparison to Claude Code's theming options, as well as its intuitive model selection that supports over 75 different models and has the option to use local models for if you want to vibe code offline. But if you have a Claude Pro or Max subscription, you can use that to log into Open Code as well as using all these other providers. Use slash init in a projects directory to create or update an agent's MD file to use as context for your prompts, just like a Claude MD file but OpenCode will automatically detect LSP servers to improve how the LLM interacts with your code. Not to mention multi-session support, which in my opinion is a killer feature because there's nothing worse than accidentally closing Claude code and losing your whole conversation context. But there are a few things Claude code does that I wish were supported by OpenCode, like being able to run commands with bash, which is helpful to view errors before getting the agent to fix them, and the ability to add custom slash commands for frequently used prompts. But the team are working like crazy, regularly adding new features to open code that I'm sure these things will be added in no time. And as well as the features already mentioned, open code has a bunch of nice touches, like always seeing the cost and context without having to type slash cost each time, shareable links, a nice toast pop-up, and being able to run prompts in non-interactive mode a bit similar to Claude SDK, that I'm already sold on this being my AI terminal coding agent of choice. But what about the other open code? Well, turns out the original open code repository was purchased by Charm, the company behind Bubble Tea, against the will of some of the people who worked on it. And they also did a bunch of weird things with it. So a new one was built from the ground up under SST, which is being actively developed, unlike the other open code project. But Charm did say it's being developed under a new name, so this repo may no longer exist in the future. I mean, you can't have DAX involved in a project without there being a bit of Twitter drama, right? Hey, it's me again. If you enjoyed this video, go and check out Betterstack. It's an amazing product that I use all the time to help me write better, more robust software. And it's got a free tier, so you've got no excuse not to check it out.